Peter's head. And, you know, if you look at the uh, topology of it, you know, it's, it's about 5,000 polygons, a little over 4,500. But what we want to do is, uh, I'm just going to just hide this hat for a minute. And what I want to do is take the lower jaw and create a set of bones from about the ear down to make him lip sync. So uh, in this case, you'd have to use bones because what I'm what I'm going to do is I eventually bring it into. Uh, um, just let me get the bones here. <coughs> uh, let me redo that here. Just let me make him visible and freeze it so you can see it <coughs> better. I'm going to make this frozen. Um, so I'm going to take off show grow show frozen and gray and then do the bone so you can see it better so you want you want to create one from here uh, a second one about here right around the the corner of the lip area not quite and then one for the chin and I usually do an end bone and then you're gonna to want to move the um, the major uh, bones over now those are a little bit big so you can actually go in the bone tools um, animation under bone tools and and bring down the properties of them, fin, uh, the property sizes if you want. Uh, you can go in the modifiers, you can go edit bone edit mode and just grab these bones and just bring down the, the width of these bones the way you want. It's a really neat technique and you could you could play around with different parameters of it but uh, but that you know that, that gives you an idea of some sizes. So they're just a bit too wide for me. So um, just get out of bone edit mode and move those over to the left. So that's kind of where you want. Now, what's going to happen here, uh, ultimately, let me unfreeze this, is that you're going to have, for the big head, you're going to have one a skin modifier, and then Unity can, and then you're going to add all your bones that you have in here. And at this point, you should do a save. Um, and I should name those properly, especially if you're going to a game environment. Um, but I'm going to save this as head jaw and what you want to do is go to edit envelope to make sure vertices on and then for the bone one let's take make sure the invisible is off because you're not going to see the uh, uh, the selection you're going to have this so bone one you know you're going to want to take maybe practically all the head up to the roof of the mouth okay leave the rest off and make it a hundred percent effective okay because this bone here is what's going to influence the lower uh, lower jaw movements. Bone two is going to be the critical area. So you might as well right off the bat take this area right here and make it 100%. Okay. And I always add a tip bone later on. I'll, I'll show you why uh, in the rigging. But you can actually use that tip bone for, to help out with an end effector in Max. But anyways, going back to uh, bone two. You'll have this. So when you get out of max, if you take this bone, it's a little exaggerated, and I rotate this, you're going to get this. And uh, this going to be has to be some soft selection. But I've got a $30 uh, sim simple lip sync light in Unity that works with that bone. It'll actually, one audio file, you put it on it, and it lip syncs in minutes. It took me a while to figure it out, 30 bucks, but I bought a package to, to do that. Now, the trick is, this is where the trick comes in. You want to get all the right mouth. So if you take that bone and rotate it about an exaggerated about 15 degrees, um, I'd say 15 about here, you, you can work on the mouth areas that have your problems. Okay, so I can go in here bone two or bone one and go, well, let's look at the envelopes here. I know this part, vertice, has to be on the top. So I can make it, whoop. Get out of here. 100% influenced at the top, so watch. Um, go down to the weights. Bring the weights up here. Uh, right, right here, weight properties. 100%, see how it goes up top? I'll do another one right here, show you. See how it goes up top? So I'm making sure that the top mouth area, these here, are gonna be 100% influenced by that mouth. And all I got to do is set up that as 100% because it's really hard to grab, um, you know, that type of match. So once it's done there, I'll get that side done. You're almost done that side. Let's do this side here. And, uh, you know, it takes a bit of editing. But once you've got that mouth opening, I could have left the mouth open too, but I wanted a neutral kind of, not quite closed, but, you know, pretty 
Do one more here, and that's probably be done. There, nope, just one more right here. I'll just adjust here a bit. There we go, about there. And this one here, maybe about there. So it's, so this is a bone technique, and I've shown you guys the morph technique. Let's bring this up and bring this one up. And uh, so it's, and maybe bring this up uh, a little bit more. There we go, about there, and this one here. So it's not so 3D looking. There you go. So now I got this jaw, and I exaggerated a bit. Now I can go in, take this jaw, and do a test, and and there he goes. Okay, and I still got some cut, still still some clipping, and and he's got too much on right here. So too much stress, well, too much stress exactly. So what I'm going to do is go back into. Uh, yeah. I'll show you what you have to do. Is see this here right area right here. You just have to reduce the weight properties so that so that that is not as influenced. Okay? Same as this part here, just reduce it a bit. Okay? See how you, and you could paint that on too. But now that I got the bone one above it uh, a bit affected here, I can go back into this bone and and whoop, and do it do a test here so it's better and not influenced right watch. See there? It's a little bit better. Okay? But I still got to worry about this clipping right here okay I gotta go in here and, and modify those so it doesn't look um, um, really messed up yeah but anyways that's a that's kind of a, a really quick way to do a bone rig for the lower jaw but ultimately you're gonna want to do other bones I've seen some games with 42 bones in the head but it's just a simple way of rigging a head and when you're this far away and you're doing an RPG game from top down this is what you're going to see anyways. Okay? Do you really need to do all the bones in that head? Unless you're down here in a first person shooter like I don't know GTA 5 or Assassin's Creed when you're raiding your character, you don't need to get that, you know, especially when you're this high in a top down. But you would like to make your character, you know, have some type of quick mouth movement. And it's just a quick way to do a top down uh, 